video we would be uh, understanding how to find the differences between days sometimes you might be uh, having a requirement where you need to know the differences between the uh, two dates it can be the order date or like you know you could have purchased something and uh, you want to see when did you want to purchase how many days it has been happened with the current date then you want to know the differences between these two dates or you would be like you would be taking a leave so how many days you want to take the leave so from today to next monday then how many days it is how many days of leave so that would be the difference between the days so for that pega provides you uh, pro pega provides us with a function called as difference between days and it contains four um, uh, parameters one is the end date and the other one is start date and the next two talks about the default calendar which is available within the application so if you are going to use your own applic uh, calendar then you need to mention the calendar name here so as I don't have any calendar here so my the calendar which I am using in my in this particular application is the default calendar you can look into this this is the default calendar which I'm talking about okay so this is the default calendar so the calendar name itself is a default okay so you would be using this or you can create your own calendar so the uh, default uh, this particular uh, differences between days would be uh, taking the calendar as one of the parameters then what is this false if you want to use calendar then make it as true and if you want to use you don't want to use calendar you want to take all the days like for example in the calendar uh, Saturday and Sunday might be your holidays so you don't want to take it so business days you want to calculate only business days then take calendar and make it as for uh, true so that the business days would be calculated as differences between days if you do not want to calculate the business days then you make it as false so that it will take total number of days for example here you can see end date is 9th january and start date is 2nd january if you count between 2nd january to 9th january it is 8 days so that means it is taking sunday and saturday also it is including sunday and saturday if you don't want to include saturdays and sundays here then make it as true then you see the result would be 6 so we'll take uh, 5 over here so it is 2 3 4 5 so this is 5 so why this plus 1 is added if you don't add plus 1 then the end date it, it does not include the end date so you want to include the end date also then make it as plus 1 then it will also include the end date so this is the function which you will be uh, we will be using for the uh, calculating differences between the days thank you